This here, fellers, is my 1980 Syratone. This bad puppy came from Zimmer Nuclear Power Station before it got, you know, turned into a coal plant, but that's fine. Uh, this unit was manufactured, like I said, in 1980, and it was upgraded with newer components. This was technically a prototype when it was installed. I actually happen to have a manual to this unit. The manual's dated mid-1981. And uh, the components that are seen in that manual are actually quite a bit different than what's in here. Most of the components that are in this controller were manufactured in 1982. And as everybody knows by this point, Syratone actually officially launched in 1983. So technically speaking, this is a prototype and kind of interesting that it made it into a nuclear power system being a prototype, but I digress. So let's get a screwdriver and we'll open this up and I'll get you fellers dialed in. All right, so we got us two flavored screwdrivers, Phillips and Flathead. I'm gonna go ahead and take a flathead, loosen up the latches here, slide it out. And there it is. You can see there's a lot going on here. Um, none of it works, of course. That's fun. Cabinet is severely rotted. It's also fun. And there's no power supply. But I do have something for it. This here is a new old stock power supply for one of these Syratones. You can see it's got the fancy dress panel, swing out door thingamadoodle. And it's also got the place for the ID plate, which was never put on here because this was a replacement part. And yeah, this will be its new power supply. Just as soon as I tear this down, get it cleaned up and make it worthy of this fresh power supply. But any who's and how's, let's go ahead and pull some of this out and I'll let you take a look at it. So this here, is the control module. As you can see here, it looks kind of dirty and nasty. And this here is a universal tone module that Matt actually put in this controller when he had it, I'm pretty sure. I don't think, I don't think Ian did that. I'm pretty sure that was Matt's doings. This board, of course, doesn't work. There's already been somebody in here trying to make it work. Anyway, I believe there's a fuse in it. Yep, a slow, bow, a slow blow quarter amp fuse. You can see a little resistor in there. Let's go ahead and stick that back in there. Hopefully we can stick it in there where it's sitting right side up. Yeah, there you go. And this was maintained by Clayton Worden. It was also removed by him. This sat in his yard for quite a few years before Ian Murr eventually purchased it. Then it went to Matt Ullman. Then it went to Jeb and then to me. So it's been around the block. So let's go ahead and pick out some more of this junk. Pull one of these amps out. In my lovely cardboard job to make sure that these amps didn't bounce around because there's no screws in it because why would there be but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at this one Ooh, this one is not in good shape at all uh, uh well it says it was okay in 1994 but um i don't think that's the case anymore <laughs> i don't know if you can see this or not if you look in there there's a burned up diode. This resistor looks like it's seen better days. There's another burnt up diode right there. That resistor has been cooked. Yeah, there's another resistor in there that's cooked. I see it. Yeah, this board is foobard to say the least. I'm pretty sure this is actually, um, this was a replacement. It's still got the original metal casing on it, but all the components were replaced in it. So the board is newer. The board, I think, is from, yeah, it's from 1984, actually. Uh, 
all the components in here were replaced and the output transistors were actually replaced sometime in like 1993 might have been 94 when this was written on it but yeah this is an amp it says amp number five on it of course there's no fuse in it i actually tested this one and it was completely shorted to ground in my good controller so this one is junk i guess we'll pull out number four cardboard out of here come on get out of there there we go let's go ahead and pull this one out there we go <laughs> oh dust and this one here is one of the original amplifiers and you can tell because of the way that it is look still got the original output transistors 1981 wow and if we look in here at the board i don't know if you can't really see it that well you see that green led well the output led is green and the bias led is amber the later controllers have just red leds throughout the amplifier but this but the prototype ones actually have green and amber led indicators Let's see if we can read some dates on this. I can't read that one. I can't read that one either. But just looking at the way that the board is, I can tell that this is 100% original. This is completely unmolested. I don't see what this. there's something there's something written on it. I think it says no out. So it doesn't output signals. But aside from that, I don't think there's well, there's a diode on there that doesn't look too happy but it looks like it's just from corrosion. But otherwise, this one looks okay. I might actually throw this in my other Syrotone and see if it functions. So this one, we're just gonna mark it as a question mark. So that's amp number four. Let's go ahead and pull out this one. That sounds lovely. Oh, this one. This is actually the one well, this one also has okay written on it but this is the one that i ran yesterday and it started smoking <laughs> so uh there's a resistor that's been replaced on it that had been smoked there's a diode in there it looks like it's seen better days there's a resistor right there that might have been what started smoking or it was this capacitor that was doing it yesterday i don't even know if you can see any of this in here but yeah this one is also that's also the original control circuit in there the output transistors were replaced they are uh, dated in the middle of 1992 so the output transistors are newer um this little diode was replaced that's a newer diode i think or maybe it's not it's a three it's a 368 ar which <laughs> Don't try to look up that model number because you can't find it. I haven't been able to find any information on that diode, which is great because if it's dead, I can't really replace it. But yeah, it's pretty nasty. Okay. So that was number six. Let's pull this one out. Let's see, what, let's see what, what's in here. A wasp nest, that's cool. It looks bad, really bad. That's what I do with my coat set. Go ahead and get you dialed in. It looks pretty bad in there. Counter, 59 activations was likely reset many times. Some cardboard junk from where I was trying to keep the amps from bouncing around. Yeah. It's in not so good of shape. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull this one. What do you have to tell us? A diode that doesn't look very happy? That's good. Two diodes that are unhappy. It's fine. 
output transistors from 1994. No fuse in it. This one probably doesn't work. It says 12. I wonder why. Have the original diode? Yep, original diode. One of the prototype boards. Very interesting. 1981 right there. 30 second week, 1981 on this capacitor. That is fascinating. Yep. Next one. Yeah. That sounds lovely. Output transistors, 1992. Does this one have a fuse in it? It does. This one is straight up missing a diode, so um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it doesn't work. That's fine. Their mister looks not too happy. I don't see anything burnt, though. Everything looks to be okay. 2N6109, built by RCA, 30th week of 1981. That is fascinating. Yeah, aside from a diode being missing, I don't see anything that would be stopping this one from working other than maybe the output transistors being dead. Diode has been replaced. This diode is one of the newer ones. Um, this is an MR2006R. Um, my black amplifiers have that have that one. My other Sourtone amplifiers, they're just regular MR2000s. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Set that right there. Next one. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Jeez. It's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Also, I do apologize if I sound really bad. I'm kind of, I got the sniffles. Not running at 100%. Not running on all eight. We're running on about six and a half. It's fine. Original board in this one. Output transistors were replaced. These are 1994. Diode, are you original? You look original. I can't, the wires are right in the way. Original diode. This one is also missing a diode. Why? I don't know. This one may work. I'm just going to sit this one and this one off to the side because they may function. But these, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they don't function at all. Especially, is it you? Okay, maybe it wasn't this one. This one actually looks okay. I think this one may be all right, but all the other ones. This one says no output, so I imagine it's dead. This one's toasty. I want to say these two are dead. This one is questionable, and this one is questionable. So, that being said, what I'm going to do, we're going to get the other Sourtone up, get an extension cord out here, dump these amps into it one at a time, and see if we get any life out of them. Or they might catch on fire and burn my other controller down. That's fine. I wonder if that neon bulb still works. Probably not. I would be surprised. Wasp anesthesis, which I hate. I don't like wasps. They scare me. So I'm going to get that on out of there. Maybe. Remember to shut your doors on your power supplies, fellas. You don't want people reaching in and electrocuting themselves. All right, let's have a look. It's old. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. That seems fun. So you boys, let you guys rest there. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Oh, this is gonna be heavy. Probably. Oh my goodness. That's fine. Just ignore all the miscellaneous debris rolling around inside this one. I assure you, it's okay. Really. Let's find an extension on the cord. 
All right, we have power. And that's what it should look like, except the my decoder is missing. We're, we're not gonna talk about that. We'll just pull fuses. That seems fun. Okay. Now is where things get sketchy. We are arming the nugget. Time for smoke test. Shorted to ground. This one don't work. That much we know. That one's bad. This one have a fuse in it? It does. Bias. It works. Ooh, the output transistors are unhappy. Oh, it's smoking. It's smoking. Oh no. smoking resistor so this one partially works is it in there in there all right we have a bias zero output We also have smoke. A lot of smoke, actually. That resistor. Okay. So, these two don't work at all. Do I dare try the other ones? No. All the amps are, they're good. They're good. Now, Put this back in here. We have established that we have negative ampage, of course. Great. So let's go ahead and put these boys in and let's plug in the control module and see what it does. What was that? Should I be concerned? Oh, that's dangerous. What is that connected to? Ah, it's fine. It'll be all right. Okay. Disconnect the rotator. Ah, smells like the 80s. I wouldn't know. I'm only 21. Now we just shove all this right back in. Rotator circuit might work. That'd be neat. Nope, probably dead. Plug in your positive. Now get on there. We'll connect up our little counter down there and see if our counter circuits function. That'd be cool. Probably doesn't work at all. All right, time for the smoke test. It didn't blow up. That's good. That's good. That's not good. 
Um, it's not, it's not booping. Strange. I bet it's because of this. Well, I think it's safe to say she's shot. Perfect. Well, what have we learned today? Don't leave electronics outside. They don't like it. The Zimmer controller has been underwater 70 million times, probably. It was home to a ant condominium when Sam found it in the woods at Jeb's house. So that, that's good. Uh, yeah. I believe we're done here for the day. Or maybe not. I really need to tear this apart. Kind of don't want to right now. But anywho, I guess we'll go ahead and see if that makes a difference. None. I honestly wonder if this fuse is blown. It's intact. Nope. Well, she's dead. Completely dead. Junk. Did that socket break again? Probably. I guess I do need to check that. So on my way back up here, I got off at an exit to stop by Chick-fil-A to get me a bite to eat. And at the exit, there was a red light. The sun was right in my teeth. Couldn't see anything. Almost ran it, which was great. Okay. Nope, that one didn't make it. We don't have an output here. We have killed the output transistors in that one. Yeah, I had a feeling it was on its last legs yesterday. Never mind. What? How? Yeah. Okay. I don't think that one works. <laughs> Okay, well, let's swap it. Let's put it back over here. Actually, we'll put it back in the bay that it was originally in. Don't worry, I've got new stuff on the way to fix that. These two have already been fixed. These two right here beside the control module. I fixed them. They don't do this nonsense. Um, okay. Engage. Ah! There we go. That socket completely died. Not surprised. 
because this was the one out of all the sockets that I had repaired, this one was the worst. Yeah, go figure. Junk. All right, so those are the ones that survived being slammed into the front of my truck bed. Well, we can run a 408. We got the little clicky clacky down there for it. So that's good. Actually need to pull this one out you'll notice I don't know if you can see that the bias light is on it's not supposed to be on something happened and this won't turn off I, I don't know what to tell you I've got some new sockets on the way so I can really fix this controller so this won't keep happening every time I move it Nothing looks burnt. It could be just about anything. I may just completely rebuild it. Costs like $50 to rebuild it. More like $30 if you don't need to replace your output transistors. These are still good, so I think I'm going to just leave it. Well, I now have two broken sirotones. Perfect absolutely perfect i guess we'll get this out of the way and then we'll put the other controller up here and i guess we'll pull it apart because i need to pull it apart and at least clean it that's why i don't play sports Now, this is the one that's really heavy. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Those are completely corroded. I have a good mind just to unbolt the back plane and just complete and just get the entire thing out. How badly corroded is that? Very. Don't strip. It's already stripped. This one. You're gonna have to cut those out. Well. the cradle for the control module this is galvanized steel you see a wasp nest used to be on it yeah it's not pretty might be able to clean it up 
I mean, worst case scenario, what I might end up doing is taking all of these parts, sanding them, and just shooting them with some gray paint, like the back plane in here is. It's just gray. It'll be all right. All right, how bad is it? It's actually really, really good. I can't believe it. That's good. That means uh, we'll have to do minimal work on those boards, aside from cleaning them, because I definitely need that. All right. I bet there's wasp nests behind that. I'm not looking forward to that. Wasps scare the out of me. Just looking at their nest scares me. I don't like it. Take a look at this. That's one of those galvanized screws. Well, not galvanized, whatever it is. The ones that are gold colored. I, I don't know what that's called. So for comparison, there's a good one next to it. It's pretty bad. Anyway. So far in this controller, there have only been three different sizes of screw. Well, three different types slash sizes of screws, which is actually kind of nice. I'm going to go to get a smaller Phillips bit. We'll just zip these boys out real quick. Hell, these are nicer than the ones that are in my other cabinet. It's like way nicer. All the amp sockets are 100% intact, which I'm very thankful for. Because that means I don't have to redo them. But yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. And we'll do that. This... Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Why did they do it this way? I'm guessing the way that they had this connected. So let me let me get you in here so you can see. So these three large, so these three 14 gauge wires on both sides, the black and the reds, those are going to the amplifier back planes. Each one gets its own wire, and um, these smaller ones are going to the control module. And I think the there's but there's four of them. 
there's two so there's two going to the control module and i think the other two were actually going to the um the radio when it was still in here and it was powered that way i think in the newer one it was just getting power daisy chained from the control module but in this one it would the radio was getting powered directly which is very interesting so yeah these are actually in really good shape they're very dirty but other than that they're in they're in they're in better shape than my other one is set that off to the side well it's stripped down that's really what i wanted to do it's surprisingly not that bad let me get you in here if i can so here's the inside of the cabinet all the rust in there i think it's had it there's the counter 59 activations you can see just how rotted everything is over here this is the worst of it the hinge is just it's on its last legs I can't get these off, these hinges off, because they're completely corroded in place. So, yep, it's bad. But anyway, that is all for the Zimmer Sirotone for the moment. And uh, in the next video, hopefully, we get to working on some of the components. We'll probably tackle the control module first. And then we'll get to the amplifiers. Or I might do the amplifiers first. I don't know. We'll figure it out.